we're back on the road, and this time we're cruising Washington. This means we have to leave Ollie at home. I'm gonna miss those snores. In this video, we take a ferry to Whidbey Island to visit Deceptions Pass. This place was amazing, the views, the crisp air. So stay tuned and I'll take you through. We started at Muckleteal Terminal, took a ferry to Whidbey Island, and from there we drove about an hour to get to Deceptions Pass State Park. We splurged a little and got a Porsche McCann for the long drive ahead of us. We were able to take it onto the ferry itself, which made it super convenient. We walked upstairs to go outside on the main deck to enjoy the ocean breezes for the 20 minute ride. Back on the road, headed for Deceptions Pass. Feeling pretty cool with the top down in our Porsche. The drive through Whidbey Island is absolutely beautiful. Lots of greenery and ocean views. We decided to make a pit stop because we wanted to get some grinds. We found a place called Orlando's Bar and Southern Barbecue. There were a bunch of smokers out front so I knew it had to be good. We made it to go and found a really cool park down the street right on the ocean and had a little impromptu the picnic. Idea. The meat was soft and the barbecue was delish. We finally arrived at Deceptions Pass after paying $10 at the parking. There are two ways to go. You can either go across the bridge or you can go underneath the bridge to a little pebble beach. We decided to walk the bridge first to enjoy the views from above. When you get to the other side, there's a set of stairs that takes you down below the bridge. You can probably walk down all the way to the water's edge, but you just got to be careful. The ground is uh, pretty loose dirt and gravel. Here's a couple panoramic shots of each other. Just a little tip. If you go this way, you can park for free, which we just found out. This is the paid parking lot for all you suckers, like us. This is on the way back. This view is inland on the opposite side of the bridge. Just know that you're inches from the traffic. Be careful. So now we're back to where we started. This is the bottom route to get to the Pebble Beach. You can stop here if you want to take a picture. Then continue down through the trees on this slippery gravel path. I love you. You always got to appreciate our trees. Remember that you got to walk back up this uh, pretty steep incline hill afterwards. But when you get down to the Pebble Beach, it's definitely worth the hike. When you get out of the trees, it all opens up and you can see everything. On the right side is the bridge that we just walked across from. Oh, it's pretty cold. <laughs> there were a bunch of guys fishing on the shoreline here. Not sure what they're going for, but I'm assuming salmon? There are also four boats that are just right offshore here fishing, but we didn't see them catch anything, unfortunately. It would have been cool to witness them catching a salmon. Well, thanks for watching our trip to Deceptions Pass. Now, after this, we're gonna drive up to uh, Lake Stevens where we have a lake house. Beautiful lake house. Oh, nice! So, stay tuned for that one. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you can, Aloha and holy hope.